Okay, good afternoon all. So this will be our last session in computer programming. So in this session we are going to do three exercises. First one is copy contents of one file to another file. So that means I have one file and I have some data. I have to create another file and I want to copy the entire data from file 1 to file 2. Suppose first, a, first file is A and second file is B. In which mode I have to open file A? Silas Paul Augustine. Yes, sir. In which mode I have to open file A? Sir, R. Read mode. In read mode I have to open file A. Advait. Okay. Advait. Yes, sir. In which mode I have to open file B? Uh, right mode. Right w. mode. W. Right mode. Okay. Okay. Can mute the mic. So then what we have to do? We have to read character by character from file A and write character by character to file B. So it's a very simple logic. We'll do the program. main here I had to declare two file pointers FP equal to F open a dot txt comma r which is fp1 fp2 equal to f open b dot txt comma Comma right. Okay. So I have to read character by character. So I'm declaring on variable C char C while C equal to get C of FP1 not equal to EOF. Here what happens is first this get C of FP1 will work. That means first character from A dot text will be read and it will be stored in C then the C will be compared with end of the file. If it is not end of the file, we have to do something. First thing is we have to put C the character we have to put is in C comma where we have to put in B dot txt that is represented by pointer fp2 fp2 So that's the only thing. The program is finished. Then you have to write 
f close f p 1 f close f p 2 So before that I had to create a file with name A. So I'm creating a file with name A. And just giving some data last class. So anyway B is not created but it will be automatically created and the data will be copied. There is no file with name A be here. So I am executing the program. Okay. Here there is an one error. Unknown type name file. So here we have to include an header file. Hash include. So rarely I included header files because this compiler automatically takes the library functions. So it is actually in stdio.h. So I included it. Now there is no error. The program completes its execution. So here one more file is created. b.txt. I am opening that file. So there is not giving the desired result. Let me check. C equal to get C of FP1. is I think the bracket is the problem. Okay, now I got the output. Earlier what happened? Get C of FP1 is compared with EOF and then that value is stored in C. That is a wrong way. First thing is you have to get the character and store it in C. So that has to be executed first. Get the character, store it in C has to be executed first. So we have to give the bracket here. Now this one execute first. Then along with C that UOF will be compared. So if it is not equal to EOF, the value will be written. 
we'll execute the program again. In B dot text, we have last class. Any doubt? Is it clear? Statement eight to no explain Java. Statement eight, okay. So, Salas Paul Augustine, what is the innermost statement? So, anyway, here we have some brackets. So anyway, if there is any bracket, the innermost bracket will be executed first. Innermost bracket will be executed first. Okay. So anyway, get C of FP1. That is to read a character from file A. Read a character from file A. Then that okay. will be stored to C. That will be stored to C. Okay, sir. After that, what will happen? The C will be compared with EOF. C will be compared with end of the file. If it is not end of the file, we have to put that character to FP2. FP2 means it refers to second file, b.txt. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. So our first program is finished. Then next one. Merge contents of two files and store it in another file. Store it in another file. So here what happens, I have two files, let it be x, second file y, and I have a third file, is it? So here some data there, here some data is there, next x and y. First we have to copy the content of x to z. X to Z. Along with that, or after copying X to Z, after this data from X, we have to copy the data from Y. So in the end, Z will contain data from both X and Y. That means X and Y will be combined and we have to store it in Z. So, Agnal Jos. Agnal. Ah, yes, sir. In which mode I have to open X? Sir, uh, read. Read mode. What about Y? Sir, that, that, that's also read, read. Read. What about Z? Yes. Uh, right. Okay, you are saying right mode. So, when we are writing X to Z, we have to open it in right mode. And when we are writing Y to Z, we have to open it in append mode also. So anyway, it will be clear when we write the example. When I copy X to Z, I have to open it in right mode. When I copy Y to Z, I have to open it in append mode. So far in the earlier example, we didn't study it. We didn't done any append mode example. So here we are going to do it. So anyway, I will modify the same program. File, save as, merge. file merge dot c save so here i need three files so star fp3 and x y both are in read mode FP3 have to open is it in right mode capital is it right mode okay then first we have to read the character from x one by one and I have to put it in y. Sorry, in z. So here fp1. 
fp1 refers x and i have to put it in z it it is referred by fp3 so i am writing fp3 so now the content of x will be copied to z next what i have to do i have to close x f close because the contents are copied x is no longer needed fp1 i have to close z also why because then after that i have to open it in append mode so it is a good practice to close the file before opening it in another mode fp3 so now x and z are closed i am again reopening the z file in which mode in append mode earlier it is in right mode append mode means already z contains z contains content of x we have to add the content of y after that okay then i have to read character by character from second file fp2 and i have to write it in z z means fp3 so first x is copied x and z are closed then again z is opened in append mode then the content of y is copying to z then i am closing f close fp2 and f close fp3 okay let me execute the program i'm creating two files x good i am right creating another file also y evening so x contain good y contain evening our expected output is a file z will be created and it will containing it will contain good evening okay. the file z is created and it contains good evening so now the content of x and y are merged and stored in z stored in z is it clear any doubt any doubt uh, sir okay ask uh, sir e append the in the account number okay so i am commenting these lines okay i am just commenting these lines this program is same as copying x to z who has the doubt sir okay 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 this line number 4 to 14 helps to copy the content of x to z any doubt in that acnel i know sir okay so i am executing it now let me check the content of z z contain only good so i want to append along with this is it if i write it if i open the file again in write mode what will happen the good will be replaced the good will be uh, overwritten so to avoid that i am closing fp1 because fp1 is no longer needed i am closing f fp3 also that means i am closing is it also then i am opening fp3 in append mode then the same contents Con I am copying contents of y to z. 
Y to Z. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other doubts? Uh, excuse me, sir. Okay. Uh, I think it is Saksham. Okay. Until Saksham. Sir, here the uh, like good and evening are already written in uh, X and Y. Yeah. Uh, if we want to write uh, here in the program and then no, uh, you are saying I want to store good and white via program. Yes, sir. That one. Like in the first program also we can do that. Uh, first program, okay. I will do in the first program. You can modify yeah. it later. Copy, file, copy, file, copy, dot C. Okay. So for that, um, So first I want to write something to file A. So what Saksham asked is, uh, earlier I created file A and I stored some data in the file. Instead of that, through program I have to store something to A. Something to A. So what I have to do is, I have to open A in write mode. I have to open A in write mode. Then what I have to do, morning I have done on program. Okay, this one, put C example. Enter some data. So you will enter some data. When the data when the data finish, you will press hash key. So here it is FP1. So the user input will be stored in A. Then what do you have to do? Have to definitely close FP1. Then you have to open FP1 in read mode. FP1 in read mode. Read mode. Okay. So now I, am ex now I am executing the program. Enter some data. Good day. So I have to print, I have to hash. So let me check. I want to check output of A and B. Content of A and B. Content of A is good day. Content of B is also good. Any doubt in this program? No, sir. Okay. Similarly, you can modify this one also. You can first you can open X in write mode, store some data, close it, uh, open O E in write mode, re write some data, close it. Then the remaining part you can write. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So last program. Convert uppercase alphabets to lowercase alphabets and vice versa in a file. So suppose a file contain hello. You have to write a program which convert H to small H E L L. O, H E L L O. Okay, I'm just modifying this program. Save us. Invert case dot C. Listen carefully. Here I am declaring file with some name. O 
original and inverted sorry no need to need to invert it so what i am going to do here is so first what i will do i will first read h i will first read h then i will try to, i can convert it to small letter then at once i have to write it in the file at the same time i have after that i have to write it in the file but here if i have a file with original.txt it will be opened in read mode only initially it will be opened in read mode so writing back something is not possible writing back something is not possible and also even if i used in the morning if i studied r plus you can perform both the read and write even if you used r plus what will happen when i convert h to small h and then when i writing it to file what happens the entire contents will be overwritten the contents entire contents will be overwritten and only h will remaining there only h will remaining there so what i am going to do is i will create a temporary file i will create a temporary file and first the character h will be taken it will be convert to small h and it will be inserted to temp.txt then i will take e e will be taken it will be converted to capital letter and it will be inserted to temp.txt so in the end temp will contain hello so once it is finished i will copy the contents of temp.txt back to original i will copy the contents of temp.txt back to original after that what will i do i will delete temp.txt i will delete temp.txt so i will explain again i have original dot txt and it contains some data called hello it contains some data called hello next i and it will be opened in read mode original will be opened in read mode i will create another file temp.txt i will open that in write mode then i will take character by character and convert it into it inverted case hc llo will be stored then i will open this in read mode at that time this original dot txt will be opened in write mode then what what will i do i will copy this to this one i will copy content of temp dot txt to original dot txt so original dot txt will contain this hello h e l l o then what will i do i will delete this file temp.txt i will delete this file temp.txt is the idea clear did you get the idea oh, yes sir okay so i'm doing the program original.txt ah uh, tell sir sir you said uh, we cannot directly Uh, convert it and uh, store it in uh, some other file why some some other for or some other file or some same file or some uh, like initially you have written inverted doc dot txt okay what 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 my my what's what's my question because i am what what my aim is to convert upper case alphabet to lower case alphabets and vice versa in a file in the file itself i have to write that's what i intended okay sir. okay 
that one is very easy just copy to another file and convert it but the content must once the content in the same file must be changed that is what i am trying to do okay okay sir. so temp.txt fp1 fp2 so here you had you had to write some condition if capit if c greater than or equal to small a and and c less than or equal to capital a sorry small is it so how to convert it into capital letter srishant srishant ji can you hear me varada yes sir so how to convert a character to Uh, small caps character to capital letter small c equal to c minus 32 ah uh. if i because the uh, in ascii ascii table the difference between capital a and small a is 32 similarly capital is it i have to do plus 32 then that c will be written so now temp will contain the inverted text so close both the files close both the files open it in different modes original dot txt will be written in right open in right mode and temp dot txt will be written uh, opened in read mode then have to copy the contents from fp2 to fp1 then again close these two files remove temp dot txt okay so first original dot txt is opened in read mode temp dot txt is opened in write mode let original text contains hello all capital letters are converted to small letters and all small letters are converted to capital letters and copy to txt close fp1 and fp2 Op open original dot txt in write mode open temp dot txt in read mode copy this hello to this original dot txt so this content will be copied then what i have to do i have to delete this temp dot txt let me execute the program so for that i had to create one file original dot txt H G L L O. H G is converted. What happened to remaining? Okay, let me check.
ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ യു ഹാഡ് ഗിവ് എൽ സിഫ് സോ ദ പ്രോബ്ലം വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഹിയർ ഇസ് ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ എച്ച് ഇ എൽ എൽ ഒ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ടുക്ക് എച്ച് സോ ദിസ് ഇഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോൾസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ലെറ്റർ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ലെറ്റർ സോ ദിസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഈസ് ഫോൾസ് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ലെറ്റർ സോ ദിസ് എച്ച് ഈസ് കൺവേർട്ട് ടു സ്മോൾ എച്ച് ദിസ് എച്ച് ഈസ് കൺവേർട്ട് ടു സ്മോൾ എച്ച് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇ ഈസ് റെഡ് ഹിയർ ദിസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഈസ് ഫോൾസ് it is converted to actually it is converted to capital e again the condition is checked that is also true because this e is now capital it is again converted back to e small e that's why i got the same e actually it is converted to capital after that it is again converted to small letter that's why i didn't get the desired result so we have to make sure it execute only once else if or you can give just else that is also enough so the problem is if if there is some integer data it will not work it will not work so i am writing else also so i'm not writing anything inside the else i'm just keeping else empty so why i don't like this is suppose i have a file which contain hello 5 okay i will explain with the, with the same problem itself so you may think you can write it like this otherwise if it is small letter just convert it to capital letter otherwise convert it into small letter suppose the file contain original file contain h e l l o 5 or expected output small h capital e capital l capital o followed by 5 but if i write it like this what happens is some the 5 is converted to u the 5 is converted to u because some 5 plus 32 is happened there from 5 plus 32 is happened there so you have to definitely check that condition also else if capital letter only you have to add 32 so the meaning is simple if it is a small letter it will do c equal to c minus 32 if it is a capital letter it will do c equal to c plus 32 if it is any other character means it will come under this else this didn't contain any statement so nothing will happen nothing will happen that's the only meaning so no need of any confusion if it is a small letter it will convert to capital letter if it's a capital letter it will be converted to small letter if some other special symbols or some other integers or some other thing it will fo- fall under this else condition it will not do anything so i'm making some changes now i am hello 5 so this h will be converted to capital e will be converted to small l will be converted to small again this l will be converted to small o also will be converted to small 5 will remain as it is that's my expected output okay i got the output hello 5 and one more thing if you if you notice that directory there is no file called temp it is actually created it is actually created but it is deleted also it is deleted also